Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Hotel Renovator. So in this episode we are going to finish renovating the rooms for um, the band that played in our lobby. Actually recorded a clip downstairs in our lobby. We did renovate the room last time, uh, room 201, but we still need to do room 202 for the composer and room 204 for the guitarist. But before we start doing that, I say we should go ahead and take a look at these corridors and tidy them up a bit because they don't look that great at the moment. So yeah, let's get to work. Let's bring out the big guns and start renovating this corridor. Okay, all done with stripping down the walls. Let's start vacuuming the place now. Okay, I think we're all done with the vacuum cleaner. I want to quickly run downstairs and have a look at our lobby and make sure uh, I maintain the same color theme throughout the, the lobby and the corridors, so yeah. Okay, so shall we go for the, the same looking theme, which is the marigold with the peach color on the walls and these tiles? I think we should. Okay, let's go back upstairs at level 2. Looks like someone's having a party in one of our rooms. They're being far too loud. Several guests complained already. Go find those party animals and quiet them down. I'm on it. Let's go quiet this party animal down. Um, yeah. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Celine? Did, you're not Celine. <sighs> okay, let's go back to furnishing this this hallway. Okay. Now let's start doing room two o two. Marcus is the guy that actually writes their compositions. He's a genius. Very serious Easy. and dark. I'd go for a minimalistic design. Just black and white, honestly. Minimalistic design, black and white, for real. Uh, what's wrong with these people? They all like black. Oh, by the way, did we find an egg in room 201? Because I don't remember finding an egg. We may have, but yeah, my me memory is failing me right now. The floor looks great, so it's a shame they're gonna have us remove it. I would keep it, to be honest. I mean, it looks... Perfectly fine, unless I smack it with the crowbar by accident. Oh wow, is this a secret door? It was behind this cabinet, so... Oh boy, it's locked. Wow. Do we have to find the key for this one? Let's see where it goes. Hmm. So it kind of goes behind the elevator. Wow, this is a massive flat. This is bigger than 201. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. 
So it's obviously a room behind the elevator. If the piano is here, music score must be in this room too. The music score? What's that? Ooh, find notes first. Okay. Well, obviously, how do I find the notes? It's these two, these two, and these two. How do I find the notes, though? I cannot interact with it. Hmm. Okay, let's finish removing the old junk and... Can we keep this? Nope. Hmm. Pick up the notes. Okay, we found the notes. Um... Play the piano. Let's play the piano. Maybe the room is gonna unlock. Uh, have to play the piano. Awesome. Oh no! Electricity is out. I think I saw the fuse box in the basement. Awesome. Are those diamonds? Oh my god, look at the size of them. $60,000. Oh my god. And there's a golden egg. Let's dispose of the desk first. And let's pick up the egg. $13,000. Awesome. Awesome. What can I say? Again, this proves my point. This game isn't focused on the managing side of the hotel. I mean, okay, you, you get to renovate the hotel, make it look nice and everything, but it doesn't really matter how good you... Oh, there's a note. From bellboy to a hotel owner, an unbelievable story happened in our town just a short while ago while a punter named Roy Bennett decided to bet his savings on a winning horse. Roy, who is a bellboy at a local hotel, took a chance that was well worth the risk. In the interview for our Gazette, we asked Mr. Bennett about what is he planning to do with his winnings, and the answer was as follows. Ever since I started working as a bellboy, my biggest dream was to become a hotel owner. I have just placed an offer on the hotel that I have been working at, and it was accepted. You can expect a lot of improvements in this establishment coming soon. Okay, so our grandpa won, basically won the lottery. I mean, he won. He placed a bet on a horse and uh, won a ton of money. And then with his winnings, he then bought this hotel. What a discovery! So this is how grandpa became the owner of the hotel? And look at those diamonds! They must be worth a fortune! Yeah, well, not really. More like $60,000. But still, it's a good sum. Right, so I guess, I guess this was grandpa's safe haven or study place yeah mmb and look how, how is this trash this is not trash come on i'm not gonna throw away this i'm gonna see if i can get around without throwing it away now this is grandpa's grandpa's piece of art so Was that trapped in the cobweb? I mean, my gosh. These cobwebs are really sticky. Pick up. Okay, I guess we need to... Yeah. I guess we need to give it a good swing. Nope. Uh, 
Okay. Is it slowly coming apart? Uh. Do we need to knock it from multiple angles? Destroy furniture. Light swing. Not sure what we're supposed to do with this piano. <sighs> okay, let's go and fix that bloody fuse box. For the billionth time. I'm not even gonna say anything. Engineering certificate? Already unlocked. Oh, let's check our tablet. Maybe we can unlock some new skills. Yeah, detergent win. We use higher quality deter detergents. Our rooms don't get dirty so fast. Now we have more time for other important stuff. Okay, yeah, definitely not gonna buy this. Oh, wow. Profitable destruction. You'll automatically get back half of what you invested in each item you destroy from now on. That's what we call gratifying destruction. Awesome. Oh, man. Wish I've seen this earlier. Soundproofing. Soundproof the rooms to increase guest satisfaction by my po one point and reduce noise complaints. That's one less thing to worry about. Yep. Buying this as well. Social media. They say the world runs on advertising. It sure does. Social media campaign will boost the price of your rooms by 10%. Okay. Uh, I definitely want this one. The automatic cleaning robot. That means we, we won't have to uh, clean up the rooms anymore. Uh, specially crafted mix of explosives that takes care of all the equipment and coverings in the room without causing structural damage. Handle with care. Okay. And room service. Th th those rooms won't stay clean forever. Higher room service if you want more time for other activities and have enough money in the bank. Well, we've got enough money in the bank. We definitely do. Um, okay, let's fix that fuse box. Ah. Rimey. Two o two. Okay, let's... I'll take this outside for now. I'll have someone show up and collect it. At some point. Man, look at the dust inside. I hope we have a respirator on. Okay. I'm sorry, Grandpa. In all honesty, I'm really sorry. Wish I could keep this as is. But the game won't let me. Our guests had a great time last night, but unfortunately their musical instruments have somehow disappeared. What? Oh man. Find the acoustic guitar. Find the electric guitar. Find microphone. How did you manage to lose all of your equipment? Uh, okay, I'll come down and look for it. Okay, let's go down and search. Old painting? That's not an old painting. So I have to look for the equipment in the whole hotel now? Oh my god. These people, man. These people. They lose everything. So do I need to look in these rooms as well? For the guitars? Okay, so... Oh, sorry miss. My bad. What's this? There's still a... 
two or three is locked as well. Wow. Okay. Oh, I am a huge fan of this guy. He is the total style freak. And in one interview, he said he is inspired by fire. So how about some red or yellow colors in his room? Yumiko, you scared the crap out of me. I'm just looking for the guitar. Jesus, Yumiko, oh my god. Oh, there's the microphone. Yeah, good thing we came looking. Okay, oh. Okay, we found all of them. Okay, let's close the door, keep the dust in. Now let's get down to the lobby and look for the that poor guy's wallet. Could it be in the restaurant? They're making it harder for us to find the wallet now. It's almost like... Playing hide and seek. Crab lost one. What's that? Oh, just a teapot. Okay, let's go back to our job. Again, we need to use shades of black and white. I'm afraid that we're not going to be able to meet the requirements again for this room. So, um, tell you what, let's start by doing the ceilings and we'll do it pure white. Let's do it in pure white. Okay. We'll go for wooden flooring, but this time we'll use something dark. I just think I'll go for this one. This is going to be adding to the blackness. Okay. And let's see if this is going to be adding to the whiteness. Not sure. Tell you what, we'll do this as the dining room since we have this awesome view. And then we'll do this as the bedroom and the study room. And then this bit here as like the living room. We'll add a sofa, we'll make it nice and cozy. This whole bit in black. And let's do this whole bit in black. Okay, we'll do this in black as well. Yeah, let's do this one and this one as well. And this one, why not? <sighs> I guess we could add panels. Oh yeah, I love these. Oh, missed a few bits. Yep. 
now for this will this count as white let's see um, not really okay Yeah, I like this one better. Um, okay, let's see. Just to add a piece of... Oh, I like this. Yeah. So we said we'll do this as the white room. Mm. Okay. Okay, one more cobweb. Okay, let's start off with the bed. Minimalist furniture. I mean, this looks pretty black to me. One. Two. Three. Okay, let's add some chairs. Hey, we have a problem. Our elevator's jammed. What do we do? I don't care. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's go for this one. It gives us three stars. Perfect example of inconsistency. Look at the um, look at the armchair legs and look at the uh, the sofa's legs.
I've tried using furniture only in black and white and I just cannot get that bar of shades of black and white to fill up. I don't know what else to do guys. Hmm. Maybe if I try and change this to a, a flat white, I'm just thinking maybe not all shades of white are registered as white in the game, which is a flaw if you ask me. I think I'm just gonna finish this room. I honestly don't know what else I could do to make this work. I've tried everything. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and finish this, guys. But before we do that, let's just advance the time because I want to see this finished in daylight. You really nailed it this time. What? How did I nail it? I did not meet the expectations of the levels of black and white. Huh? Okay. Oh wow, look at the difference, guys. Awesome. Thousand dollars a day. Guess this is because it's a higher tier room. 2000 style rewards, so we actually did meet the expectations in the, in the end. We did fill the bar. What the hell? It was saying we didn't? Oh man, this game. This game is driving me crazy sometimes. Have I told you already you're a born interior designer? This is a masterpiece. What is she talking about? Oh, we still have this. Let's just hide it behind the corner so that no one can see it. Completely forgot, forgot about the old piano. Can we throw it out the window? <laughs> okay. Right, so... Um, I guess that's it for today, guys. What I'll try and do for the next episodes is focus more on the storyline of the game because... It just feels to me like the game became a bit boring, it's, it's the same old place a bed, place a table, place a sofa, finish the room, um, use this color, use this style, blah blah blah. So yeah, from uh, the next episode onwards, I'm gonna speed up the renovation of the rooms, the designing of the rooms, and I'm just gonna um, show you guys the storyline because I guess you're curious to see where this game goes in the end, right? Just as I am. So. Hope you enjoyed this guys, I know it was a bit boring, but stay tuned for the next one. Take care, see you, bye.